we have a cart that is loaded with sand and a constant force f is acting on it and there is a small hole at the bottom of the cart from which the the sand is spilling out with a constant rate mu kg per second we need to find the acceleration and velocity of the cart if the initial mass of the cart was m0 and yeah so we'll do it in two ways first is our standard with respect to ground which is a bit complicated and second is with respect to frame so let's see one by one both of them so with respect to ground at time t let's say the cart's mass is m and it's traveling with velocity v and a constant force f is acting now at time t plus dt let's say the mass becomes m plus dm so dm represents change so don't put minus here we always should put plus sign because dm itself can become negative later but this indicates change so if initial mass was m the new mass is m plus dm which of course means the released mass is minus dm because total mass should still be m and the released mass because the hole is at the bottom it goes out with the same velocity with which the cart was moving so the mass of this uh, released sand is v sorry mass not mass velocity of it is v and let's say the cart velocity becomes v plus dv so all that happened in time dt so now we'll write impulse is equal to change in momentum so only impulse is due to this force f so f dt is equal to final momentum so we are writing this uh, impulse equal to change in momentum for the cart cart and uh, the sand which is falling out both of them combined so for the system we are writing that because this force external is on the system itself so f dt is equal to final momentum so of the cart the momentum is m plus dm into v plus dv for the sand that is falling the momentum is minus dm into v and minus initial momentum which is m into v so you you'll see that some terms will cancel out and you will be left with this and here we can neglect dm into dv as it's approx it's too small and from here we get f dt is equal to m dv or f is equal to m dv by dt now mass is also a function of time so we'll write m as m not minus mu t so it's reducing with time and it's a linear function because mu is constant so m as a function of time is m not minus mu t so now we just take the t terms on one side and integrate and we'll get our relation between v and time now i have not done it but acceleration you can find by just differentiating this with respect to time again now with respect to a frame this we don't have to do all this because the frame itself we have kept it out of the cart and it's moving with the same velocity as the cart which means the velocity of the cart at this moment is zero with respect to frame now in time next moment in dt time the cart mass will become m plus dm again and let's say its velocity becomes dv so initially it was zero with respect to the frame and now with respect to the frame let's say it becomes dv the velocity of the mass that is falling out that is zero with respect to frame because the mass was falling out with the same velocity as the cart which is the v velocity initially so the falling mass is at rest with respect to the frame so now we again do impulse equal to change in momentum and this time the force is still same so m j is f dt and final momentum is m plus dm into dv that's all because this velocity is zero minus initially the whole thing was at rest with respect to frame so this is also zero so from here we got our same equation f is equal to m dv by dt and after that the limits will be the same and we would have got the same answer yeah 
See, don't underestimate this method also. This is a standard way of doing. This does not always work. So here we could have thought of how, why we should do it in, a, in the reference frame because the ejected mass is coming out with the same velocity as the original cart. So we knew that that velocity with respect to the frame will become zero. So that moment momentum we need, need not have considered. That's why we did it in this form. But this is the standard fail safe method that always works. So just practice until you get all these terms correct, including the where we have to put the negative signs and all. All right.